I'm basically on board as um, the team medic, um, so I basically look after Chris's medical needs and anybody else who's actually going to be running along with him, members of the public, that kind of thing. So if anything happens en route while they're running with Chris, um, then we can deal with it as and when it happens. If you think um, Chris probably goes through a pain barrier every single day that he gets up and, and actually runs, um, but to be pounding away on the streets um, for you know well on sort of like 12 13 hours a day from five o'clock in the morning until what seven o'clock or, or eight o'clock in the evening that that's that, that's a, that's a fair old time to be pounding away on that stump the problems that we're actually coming across are um you know constant infections um ingrown hairs that he has a problem with that get infected um, he's had stump problems where he's actually lost weight as he's been running and where his stump is actually um, shrinking on a daily basis. We've, we've actually had to improvise with um, just basic pieces of, of foam to actually put in there and just give him a little bit of extra padding and, and stuff. So we're, we're literally making uh, the, the prosthesis itself just fit a little bit better for him. He's had antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, um, he's had a uh, topical uh, prescribed cream um, that he's brought along with him, which actually helps uh, for his skin uh, to reproduce. Um, so all of those things combined uh, just help him to get his job done at the end of the day. I think I really have got a feeling of just how long I've been running. You know, I've seen the weather change from really hot Indian summer, 25 degrees C, um, and that was on one day a minimum uh, during running and now there is this cold autumn and this day when it feels like you're living in a Tupperware. I've seen this wonderful land of ours in, in a very unusual way, uh, literally on foot and, and that means that I suppose I've seen things that I would never have seen. You, you're going fast enough to cover a lot of ground but slow enough to see everything so you see the the fields, the trees, the the city centres, the hustle bustle, um, the people scurrying to work, the people who don't notice other people, different regions, different accents, different behaviours and, and uh, it's been an extraordinary insight. The thing I'm really looking forward to in, in crossing the line and finishing this event is knowing 100% that I haven't let any of the people who fundraised, any of the people who've supported us, any of the people involved in this event in Bernardo's Down, and that I've given them 100%. I have a bit of a ritual now. Whenever I finish, I always have chocolate milk because I think it's good for your muscles. Here's my <laughs> chocolate milk angel. Okay, I think that's enough, isn't it? Thank you very much, well done. You're welcome. Mm. Thank you very much, I feel better for that.